New York Yankees fans, how's it going? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, Olak almost stops for the second time in a row. Glaber David Torres. Let's talk about him. He's been slept on. Do you know the last 30 games, Glaber Torres has been one of the hottest Yankees? Did you know that? People forget because of Miguel Andor. And also, um, Glaber Torres had quite a long run where he wasn't doing anything. So that's why people forget. But quietly and in stealth, Glaber Torres is really putting up great numbers. And Duhar, for an example, he's had 524 at-bats. Glaber Torres has had 390 at-bats. Glaber Torres has 71 RBIs. Miguel Andujar has 83. That's really impressive. That means Glaber Torres is coming in in the clutch. And it doesn't mean Miguel Andohar is not, because obviously we're forgetting about Glaber Torres because of what Andohar has done. And really offensively, when it comes to Torres, we've been forgetting how valuable his bat is, or has been because Torres on the field defensively, he's had quite a bit of errors. This is why we're forgetting about if Torres is hot or not, because really he's been flying under the radar. Obviously, in a different world, if Miguel Andohar wasn't on the Yankees or he wasn't even playing and Torres was up, Torres would be Rookie of the Year. But Miguel Andohar is going to be Rookie of the Year just because of doubles alone. He's a doubles machine. But if you look at Glaber Torres' stats, it's real impressive. Um, fewer at-bats, I'll say 200 more fewer at-bats, and he's putting up similar numbers. Or 150 fewer at-bats, something like that. So um, it's really impressive. I mean, Glaber Torres is a valuable weapon for the Yankees. You all know that the Yankees, they got out of that little drought they had in the beginning of the season where they were just horrible and Glaber Torres injected energy into the team and we all saw the Yankees get on that great win streak. And then unfortunately, Glaber Torres went on the DL. I believe, if I recall, in the beginning of July... But by that time, Glaber Torres has had cooled down. But again, we're seeing that Glaber Torres that is just a beast. We're seeing that Glaber Torres that had a chance to win Rookie of the Year. And writers out there are literally um, lobbying for Shohei Altani to be Rookie of the Year. And <laughs> completely ignoring Miguel Andohar. And even Glaber Torres. Because when it's all said and done, Glaber Torres is going to get a few votes. He's going to get a few riders voting for him just for the fact that he's had fewer at-bats. So anyways, that's great news for the Yankees that Glaber Torres is Glaber Torres again. The Yankees are going to need him. I, for one, think that when Glaber Torres is on, the Yankees are a winning team. So by the time playoffs start, we're going to see the Yankees have that full roster healthy. We're going to see Judge, we're going to see Glaber Torres, we're going to see Gary Sanchez, we're going to see Stanton, etc. So it's going to be real interesting when the Yankees are firing on all cylinders. Like I said, the Yankees need to just sweep the Red Sox for the series and then finish all strong in Boston for that finale. Slap their supposed aces around. That's what the Yankees need to do. Let them come down back to earth. And also, the Red Sox are going to clinch at Yankee Stadium. That should fuel the Yankees to even try even harder. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Yeah,